This is the first of three tutorials on the features offered by the Data Moving plugin for single page applications. In this first tutorial, we will see how the user can modify the client side view model, moving and copying data structure by dragging UI elements in a simple and intuitive way. We will see also how to synchronize the client side view model with the server. Suppose we already have on the client side a list of programmers and a list of artists. And suppose we would like to build a team for a new project, composed of both programmers and artists. The first step is the choice of the two leaders. Only people with a yellow border can cover the role of the leader. Accordingly, if I try to move uh, an item without the yellow border in the leader area, area it will not be accepted. So let's choose a leader programmer. About the leader artist, Giuseppe Bianchi uh, has acquired a good experience, so I would like to test him as a, a leader on this project. Accordingly, I have to change his settings. Let's move it in the detail area and change his, his team leader property. Now, Giuseppe Bianchi is ready to be a uh, team leader. Now, if I try to move uh, an artist on the programmer's area, it will not be accepted. So errors are not possible. Now, let's adjust the programmer. Now our team is ready. Now, I suppose that uh, for some reason, the server would like decide to change some way my proposed team by changing some property and by adding some uh, other people to my to my team then we will see how this happens behind the curtain now we just uh, click submit to see the result as you can see, the name of the leader programmer changed, the name of the other programmer changed, and two more programmers were added to the team. Now, to see how this was possible, let's restart the application, let's repeat quickly everything we have already done. So we move this here. Change Giuseppe Bianchi. However, this time we add the breakpoint, add the breakpoint here. Okay. Our view model contains three parts. The artist change set, the programmer's change set, and finally uh, the proposed team we have built previously. Okay, as you can see here there is a programmer, an artist, here there is a the leader artist, the leader programmer, and the programmer we added to the team. So, as you can see, the user was able to move objects in the client side view model by simply moving UI elements representing them. This happened thanks to the
reference binding that maps object to UI elements and uh, and the data moving engine is able to exploit this mapping to make all we have seen happens with the help of just a few lines of code of declarative code without any hard coding but let's go on there is uh, actually something strange because uh, the change set the artist change set is empty no deleted element no inserted element but no modified element but we modified one modified an artist because we changed the can be team leader the is team leader property of uh, an artist to enable him to cover the role, the role of leader okay let's go on to see if uh, our data moving engine is able to discover this uh, change let add some more breakpoint let's go here we here we start building the response with the help of the response builder object that is created with the new response builder object the call the new response builder call then we called the process method on both the change set the artist change set and the programmer's change set the process method do everything is needed on the change set to make the application works properly for instance it is able to create new principal key and to add it to the newly possible newly inserted elements so it, so they can be passed to the database and uh, to the business layer and to be passed to the client side and it should be able also to discover this change let's move to next breakpoint and uh, yes it was able to find also this change Giuseppe Bianchi has changed and now his can be team leader property is set to true now let's see how the change to the client side view model were uh, obtained we can't in general we can't simply substitute the client side view model or a part of the client side a whole part of the client side view model that in our in our case is the proposed team by because if we substitute it, possible links this uh, data structure this model has with uh, with other JavaScript data or with the UI elements might be broken so we have to modify it some way without substituting it this can be done with the help of the change builder object this change builder object help us to build what we call remote commands and uh, uh, with the help of the change builder object we can record record the modification that will be executed on the client side view model once the response of the server reach the client side let's see what happens we the first operation go down the programmers property and change all names of all programmers with the help of the 
update model i enumerable and uh, then we call the update model field and pass it the in object we will, would like to change the property we would like to change and the new value we would give to this property then if we move down programmers again and uh, we add two more elements with the help of the add to array method finally we call the get method of the change builder to get all changes all uh, remote commands we, we want to send to the server then we call the get response of the response builder object to obtain the final response to send to the client. That's all for now. In the next tutorial, we will cover validation errors handling.